Uh, hello, this is Jason, KI5ONA. Uh, today we're going to be programming in a repeater here on the Baofeng UV5R Mini. And as you can see, it is small. It is tiny, <laughs> and it's also a lot of fun. Um, out of the box, it is pre-programmed to Chinese frequencies, which sadly I can't use. And that's probably a good thing. Um, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we're in variable frequency mode. And if we push the VM button right here. Frequency mode. Channel mode. It'll bounce between channel and frequency mode, and we definitely want frequency mode. Frequency mode. From there, I'm going to type in my repeater frequency, and that's going to be 135.410, or I'm sorry, 145.310. 145.310. One, and I should be able to hear my repeater. Fortunately, nobody's on it at the moment. But I also need to set my PL tone, my offset, and my offset direction. So the next thing we're going to do, once we put in our repeater frequency, we're going to go to menu, menu. and go down to program channel. From channel, we have our frequency already put in. We need to go down to our CTCSS transmit, which is right here, number six, transmit CTCSS, also known as PL tone. Click OK. And that's 82.5. I need 88.5, which is right there. I'm going to push OK again. Confirm. And my PL tone is set. <clears throat> now we're going to go down to our offset amount, which is right there, number 13. Hit menu. And 5 megahertz is way too much for uh, VHF, so we'll go with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Standard data of offset of 0 0.6 megahertz. I do need to set the direction to minus. Confirm. And I should be able to hit my repeater. And now that we have the repeater frequency programmed in, we'll go ahead and chunk the repeater to test. And when I went hitting the repeater, which I have to point it at the window because I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> now, that's all fine and dandy, and that's great to program in, but what if I want to save that to a channel? It's actually fairly easy. We're going to go back into the menu. Menu. Go down to Program Channel like we were. And this time I'm going to go up, and before we can save to a channel, we have to delete a channel. So go to number 16, Channel Delete, hit OK. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to pick Channel 1. And channel 1 is gone. If I go back into that menu, we can clearly see channel 1 has been deleted because it doesn't have the word CH in front of it like 2, 3, and 4 does. It's all by itself. So let's go back, and now I'm going to go channel memory. And the only channel that you can save to is a channel that is not already been saved, like CH2, CH3, CH4. We just deleted CH1, so I can write it to there. Confirm. And we're good. Going back to the main menu and then going back to our VFO screen, I'm going to go ahead and put it in channel mode. And there it is, 145, oop, on channel one, 145.310. <laughs> Test again. And I never have to program that stuff in. It will always be on channel one, no matter where 20, I go. One. 21 will be there. One. Channel one is there. Got my repeater. This is KI5 ONA73, and have a great day.